Hello, everyone. Welcome to Yemi Connected, our first episode that I'm proud to be sharing with you all. It gives us an opportunity to connect and share more about ways you can grow doing the things that you do out here in this new world where so much has gone virtual lately, whether or not we're connecting on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook, TikTok, all of those things, and Twitter. Um, I'm happy that we get to connect with you here and thanks for, for joining the show. Please feel free to ask your questions and comments early. That gives me an opportunity to answer them before the program ends. And don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and follow. That way you can stay in tune for all of the upcoming events that are coming uh, really soon. I wanna welcome um, our guest today, Arjun Rai, who is joining us and he is the CEO and founder of HelloWoofy.com. Hey Arjun, how are you? Hey, doing fabulous. And actually, I have another guest of my own. His name is Snoopy. He is our mascot, as you can see here on on uh, on our uh, on our logo. So very uh, hello from New York City. Very proud to be here. Thanks. Nice. Thanks for joining us from New York City. And hey, Snoopy, how are you doing? It's cool. Yeah. I have Ziggy, Ziggy upstairs keeping guard and stuff. So it's cool that you brought Snoopy along as well. And that's a really cool, cool mascot. Here we go. Here he's, he's a good boy. Yes. Say, hi. Say hi to millions of people around the world. He's like, why did you wake me up? Put me back. All right, what a back. perfect, what a perfect mascot. What a perfect mascot. That's yep. so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So that's awesome. Thank you for, for joining us. I, I mean, this, uh, this tool that you have, I mean, there's a billion tools out there and there's so many content creators out here and everyone is trying to figure out how to adjust to this new climate and how they can connect with their audience, whether they're a musician, an entrepreneur, a small business, or even a journalist. I know that we've been in an era um, recently where uh, um, journalists and, and journalism has been challenged um, as it relates to quote unquote fake press. And so, you know, one of the things that they've had a challenge doing is making sure they can reach their audience with good content. The same with um, musicians and entrepreneurs and businesses as well. It's hard for them to compete with the large businesses as it relates to, to content marketing across social media platforms. Before we get into that, tell us a little bit about you, Arjun. What, what, yeah. Share a little bit about where, who you are and where you're, where you, what has gotten you to this place. Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I, I always like to uh, talk about our mascot because at the end of the day, you know, we're all the underdogs, right? We're the underdogs, whether you're a journalist, whether you're a coffee shop owner or a coach or a budding entrepreneur, uh, you we all can relate to getting started and, and feeling like we're always getting started as an underdog because of resources, right? The, the, the amount of resources we have, the capital at our hand. So having built several uh, small businesses, startups along over the years, um, I just turned 30. So I, I started when I was a teenager. Um, it, I, I quickly realized that small businesses, the underdogs, they needed help. They needed support. They don't have a degree in everything that they need to know. The legal side, right. the accounting side, the marketing side, you know, the list goes on, right? But yet we're expected to make the perfect cup of coffee for every customer that comes in as a coffee shop right. owner. Then you have to go back and you know do inventory. Then you have to go back to accounting, and then you have to get insurance. I mean, it's a lot of it's a lot of um, you you get the best education in life, uh, not in school. You get to do it on the job, uh, right. especially building a company. Yeah. yeah, and so I said, well, there has to be one part that we can take care of, which is digital marketing. Um, and obviously, in 2020, when businesses were not being seen because people were not going to their stores they were not right. you know being able to just explore what was down the yeah. block or or whatnot i realized that we need to help businesses be seen um and uh, and we did that through social media marketing we then expanded to blogging uh, automating blogs and uh something that's very unique to our platform and then we realized boy all of these little speakers you see the amazon alexa devices the echo show uh, echo dots the echo shows Boy, there are hundreds of millions of these devices. There's an mm -hmm. Echo Show here with the touchscreen built in. But where are the small businesses? Where's Yemi? Why is he not right. on here? Right? What? Why? Why not? And so we realize it's very complicated to build an app or a skill for these devices. I mean, you can have a rudimentary, like a very basic, basic app or skill built, but nothing along the lines of Netflix and Hulu because it's very, right. very complicated. So I and said, okay. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're half a billion devices, give or take. And I was like, okay, yeah. how do we get Yemi, right? The coffee shop, the other underdogs in the world 
to broadcast directly to their customers in their living rooms, in their bedrooms. I have 11 in my house. Don't judge me. But um, how do no, we get I'm, no how worries. Do we feel I, I, like you? <laughs> I've got so many around the house as well and stuff. Um, I've got one actually actually right there, right behind me. I've got a, a, an, an Echo show. I had to unplug yeah. it just in case I accidentally said uh, Echo too loud and played played some uh, <laughs> some music behind me. But um, um, yeah, yeah, I totally get it. You want to be able to connect and 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 reach your your audience um, yep. with ease, and 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 finding a tool that doesn't cost you your home mortgage in order to to keep up with folks like Amazon. I mean, they're going they're going to space. You know, I'm just trying to make it to you know the the grocery store. Um, um, finding a tool that can help us keep up, you know, with folks like that is really remarkable. So tell us about, a little bit about Hello Wolfie, you know, mm -hmm. how it helps content creators connect with their audience. Well, we, uh, like I said uh, before, we wanted something that was simple. We wanted something that was beautiful and yet the smartest thing, the, your, your best friend uh, and, uh, you know, at, at your fingertips, almost like a 24 seven social media manager. So the platform is very simple. As soon as you go in, you'll notice that everything is very color driven. Everything is, you know, very, uh, there's a lot of white space. We wanted to make sure that if you're a visual storyteller, you had the ability to use a tool that looked like you felt like you was, you know, uh, with your workflow. And so as right. soon as you go in, you start typing and it automatically starts typing for you. It suggests content for you, suggests emojis for you, hashtags for you. That technology, we just received a patent uh, literally a day yeah. after my birthday, just a couple of days ago. And, right. uh, nice. and thank Congrats. you. Yeah, my and first, happy birthday. Thank you. Yeah, my, my first patent and, uh, for, you know, pretty pretty big uh, my, milestone for, for the company. But uh, so we said, OK, let's have that kernel of a piece of technology automate the social media aspect and then we took it and built something called journal which i'm sure your audience nice. will, will appreciate of journalists and writers we then said why can we help small businesses also write great content for blogs now you right. may see other competitors in the industry that are using something called gpt3 which is right. open source which is something that isn't really inherently um an ip for the company that's using it, it's, you know, for GPT-3. Um, and right. we said we have to have IP of the company. We have to have something that we can continuously evolve and help small businesses with. So we built our own technology and we got our own patent. Um, and so we built it for journalism. And then we realized, to my earlier point, we needed to get all of this amazing content being generated into the, right. you know, into the living rooms. And that's how we started building a broadcasting network. What, what, and I see you have um, some to share here. Why don't we, uh, you share your screen. Yeah, Actually, let's do before, it. before, before that, why don't I share this uh, this um, this video really quickly um, to give folks a little bit of an idea. And when we come back, you'll do a share screen, and that way yeah. we, we can show a little bit more, so that we're not asking them to use their imagination. We can actually show you this tool. Absolutely. It's really awesome. Time. We allow you to click on the article, give you quotes, recommendations, hashtag recommendations, and emojis all in milliseconds. Now, you may wonder why we're talking about emojis so much. Well, emojis are driving double-digit engagement in marketing today. A market leader stated that engagement on Twitter is uplifted by 25%, Facebook by 57%. And you may wonder what we did with all this information. We built a visual search engine. If I input it, I love dogs, you can see which words tend to do really well with other words that tend to do well with other emojis and other hashtags. So take me through yep. a customer. They come to you, mm -hmm. this is a SaaS product? Absolutely. Okay, so they pay a monthly, Absolutely. and then what are they giving you? What data are they giving you, and then what are they getting back? Well, all they have to do is connect their social media accounts, and we take care of the rest. They tag all their social media, yep. and then you come up with a, a report mm -hmm. that has various emojis. Well, in the report, as well as when you're coming up with the content itself, and you're about to schedule it out, in that field itself, we're giving you recommendations. Oh, you're giving recommendations saying, use these words Absolutely. and these emojis, yes. and more people will come. Absolutely. This feels like the autocomplete in iMessage, except actually works properly. Or Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> there are very few companies that do autocomplete, and we not only complete with words, like you yeah, said, them, yeah. but like Gmail, Smart Compose, we also do emojis now, in addition to that, and hashtags, and all of the above. And emojis are that important They're to very important. whether somebody gets more likes on their social media Absolutely. or whatever. And it's nothing new. For ages, <clears throat> hieroglyphics have been the norm for visual storytelling. Huh. We're taking the new version of visual storytelling and bringing it to Marketers. It's an opportunity to compete against people and companies that have unlimited budgets. But when it comes to small business or the medium-sized companies, they have to fend for themselves. And this is an opportunity to give them the power back. 
you can help us look really hip on social media by having the right emojis. Huh? Absolutely. Yeah, this, is a, this is amazing. I have discount codes for all of you. Yeah. So you don't you don't create your own emojis. You just tell people what the best emojis to use yeah, are? Yeah, and I don't know if you knew this, but there are over 2,800 emojis that we go through in real time as you're typing and give you the recommendations. Now, for a small business owner, that's a lot of grunt work. And for a medium-sized company, even then, it's a lot of grunt work. And so you're left in a situation where either you use it or you don't. And you get this data from all of your customers and then you aggregate it? That is a component that we're looking into in the okay. future so we can compete with the Nielsen's and the Foresters of the world and give you real-time analytics and information. But we're actually looking at conversations happening every day in real time and we're using that data. And so we've been able to amass 35 million conversations and come up with the ability to autocomplete based off that. So it's not your ego or my opinion, it's based on data and giving that data to a small business owner. Can you talk Doesn't, about some of the customers you <coughs> talked yeah. to, to that influenced your thinking on this? Like, yeah, who inspired you? Absolutely. Um, we've been talking to small businesses all over the country, all over the world. And the interesting thing is, if you're a small business owner that doesn't speak English as a first language, we found a niche to go after them in terms of helping them complete and have confidence when it comes to copy uh, overall. Um, and so we've been talking to them, and we want to help people in South Africa, in Serbia, not only the U.S., but be able to co compete globally. So what's your background? Great question. So I've been an entrepreneur since I was 16. I've started a couple of companies. My last venture back company was actually in college. We raised from the first investors in Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. But this company, we have Peter Thiel, Scout Venture invested as well, as well as one of the largest. Wait, wait in Woofy or in the one before? In Woofy, uh, okay. through 1517 Fund. So what happened to the companies before? Um, the last company that I did was a visual collaboration company for agencies. Unfortunately, we were just too early. This was before iPad Pro and the Surface Pro came out, and we believed that tablets would become bigger and cheaper, and they did. Unfortunately, two years after, we, had, we ended up running out of cash. But I uh, learned a lot. I was still in college, and, uh, and the company before that was an agency, a social media agency. And I felt the pain as a small business owner when I wanted to compete with bigger agencies, and I couldn't get to that point from a pricing or technology standpoint. And so when I started this company, I wanted to help you know, people all over the world. So we launched about, a, about five weeks ago. We have 30 customers that are paying. We have Great, how much do they pay? They're paying anywhere from $5 to $50 a month. And that was only because they came in at That's different price points. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was yeah. thinking we have an influencer in our sure. family. I think she would look at this and say, well, I do it, but you know, maybe $5 a month, yeah. maybe $10 a month, but I'm not sure that she'd go as high as $100 or $1,000 a month. Is this market big enough? Because mm -hmm. this is really, you're selling to influencers mostly, right? Influencers are people who just want to get more out of their marketing because they understand leads come in from that and, and they want to be better at it. Hmm. And so, it could be so you're right, big. absolutely. I mean, at that price point, we've you know, played around with it. We found that small business <coughs> owners are able to spend $656 on average a month in operations and marketing software. And so we're well below 8% of that at $50. And we could go up in terms of the price point. So like I said, we launched a couple of weeks ago. Um, and unfortunately, while we were in the midst of launching, my mom passed away at the same time. Oh, sorry and, to hear that. And so we've been trying, you know, we, she was a great uh, inspiration in terms of the d design sense and the taste that I have for the product itself. We want to build SaaS products that are design friendly and design driven because everyone of us can relate to visual and being visual in themselves. But the platforms out there don't relate to us anymore. Terrific. Well, thanks for coming thank in to meet the Drapers. Thank you very much. This was great fun. Very interesting. All right. Thank you. Terrific. Awesome. That was totally awesome. Thank you so much, Arjun. That was, that video like helped it answer so many questions and just kind of give us a little bit of a background. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring up your screen so you can share a little bit more as well, yeah. um, um, and just just talk about the the platform so that. <laughs> Folks are seeing it on this video. We're here demonstrating it live in front in front of them. You know what makes um, you know you explained it in in that video that we just shared with everyone. Um, but you know what makes Hello Wolfie different from other content creator tools? Yeah, and 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 you're right. You know that 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 uh, episode. And boy, I was I was like shaking inside and nervous. Um, yeah, while, sure while I was there is uh, and and Tim, but you held up well. That was oh, you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, and he, he he talks about the presentation at the end of the episode, but it was it was so funny to um to to you know think about that because uh yeah it's it was a very important moment in our in my life and in the company's history. But uh, so to answer your question, I mean a lot of the tools out there, right? They tend to look like this. They tend to right. be on the clunkier side. Now, 
I have a lot of respect for our competitors. I happen to know almost every single one of them at the CEO C-suite level. Either we've had discussions, we've talked to them, they've been mentors or people I can reach out to whenever I need advice or things like that in the past. Or you know, so it's it's good to know your competitors and right. you know and and be frenemies essentially. Um, right. But they right. they tend they their platforms Healthy tend to look. Yeah, they tend to look like this, right? They tend to be on the simpler side, a little bit on the clunkier right. side. But what they don't do, and you know, it's almost like the GMs of the world, they don't feel the need to be a Tesla immediately, right? They they don't add the the nuances you need to understand here, which is what works for you. Is it the words, the emojis, the hashtags, the images you're using, what you should be t- saying, when are you supposed to be saying it? It doesn't give you any of those insights. It's just a scheduler. And right. then when you take a look at enterprise solutions, what the biggest companies in the world are using, again, you know, Bloomberg terminals are used by a lot of companies and they spend a lot of money, but they don't feel the pain or the need to be- have an overlay that is beautiful, insightful. You know, you have to have a degree in, in the Bloomberg terminal itself to be able to use a tool like this, right? This is obviously not the Bloomberg terminal, but the, the idea is that it's very complicated and you need a team, you need to spend millions of dollars. So right. the beauty of the platform is that as soon as you come into Hello Woofy, what you'll realize is that there's a lot of white space. So for example, when I go into Hello Woofy here and I start typing in a post, um, as I mentioned on the uh, on, in the video itself, on the TV show, as soon as you start typing, it automatically starts completing the sentence for you. And of course, we love you, Yummy, and the coffee I made earlier, complete the <laughs> yeah. sentence there. And so then what you'll notice is that it's starting to give you those emoji recommendations below. Now, so the people who are tuning in now, uh, I'll, I'll put the statistic up again because we talked about it in the video. Emojis drive a lot of uplift and engagement and purchasing intent. So, and this is obviously research from Adobe, which is a multi-billion dollar company. Right. So not only are we doing that for you, we're also helping you figure out what emojis are being used around the world in real time. So you wow. can be a little bit more insightful, a little bit more data-driven without having to fuss about what is the data saying and what is the data you know, making you uh, go in, in which direction it wants you to go in. Now, when right. you click the purple dots, one of the things that we always make mistake of is just going to Google Images and using anything that comes up. Well, what you don't have an idea of is that many right. of those images are not royalty free. In this That's case, right. we're pinging Pix- Pixabay, Pex, um, uh, Unsplash, many other repositories or, or stock footages that are royalty free and based on what you're typing. And you can throw any of these posts into uh, the, the, um, the selection here. Now, then what you can do is actually have it read the content. So if you have an image with, let's say you're a real estate agent or you're a journalist talking about a new article that you're writing, you may throw the title of it on the top. You may throw the listing, uh, you know, the price, asking price and things like that. Well, click the T and it'll actually read the article or the image for you and throw that directly into the post. So my point is, this isn't rocket science in terms of like, you could do this totally yourself. You could have an intern do this. You can have a virtual assistant do it. But those those individuals and the time consumption, it, it ke- will keep you away from being able to maximize your potential. And then, of course, you can summarize the articles if you have. You can, you know, it reads the entire article and gives you a summary. There's a whole bunch of capabilities here. But the most important thing to keep in mind is the, the ability to now allow you to broadcast directly to your customers. This show obviously being broadcasted to social media platforms. Right. But the fact of the matter is only 10% of your audience, Yemi, is going to see it. So you're going to have to do multiple of these. You may have to repost this post over and over again. Only right, about 10, a lot of time. Yeah. 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 Only 10% of your audience is actually seeing this post uh, or this video right the second. And eventually right. over time, uh, you know, maybe a 15% will see it. But then what about, you know, being able to see it 100% of the time? So one of the things that we started working on with Amazon Alexa's team's help is the ability is awesome. to broadcast directly to their, you know, to your customer's living room. So this is my living room in New York. And all of these apps you see here are obviously multi-billion dollar companies and good for them. They built the infrastructure, they have the resources, they have the streaming content. But I can bet you anything, that coffee shop owner down the block also has has content worth streaming. And it could be, it could be, how to make the perfect cup of coffee at home because you can't come into the store. Um, what beans to use and the story behind the farmer that made those beans and roasted the beans and at, at what level, was, you know, how much care went into making the coffee beans. And then at the end of the day, once you have all these, you know, briefings and video scheduled, you could hold up your phone or you could just tap on the screen and buy and have someone deliver the coffee to you <laughs> yeah. because you can't go to the to the to the store or the coffee shop. Well, that's where we built. Instead of you spending hundreds of thousands of dollars in developing apps or skills, this is a white label app skill 
that um, that I you know obviously we develop as a, as an MVP, and you can choose your t title, your description, your branding, your logo, the whole nine yards. And then once Amazon approves you, guess what? You tell your audience to download. It's a A L E X A. Download the Yemi Connected skill or the Yemi Connected app, and boom, all of the devices that you know are on the accounts of your customers will receive the app, download it, and you can, and every single day you can ping them and you can say this is the latest video about the journalist that is you know uh, you know going uphill right now to find the truth about this or about right. that. And you can cover individuals, right? And then you can be like, if you want to donate, if you want to support this journalist. Click on the link to the left under the description and go to my website or go to that right. journalist website. Because what people don't realize is that you can actually have people go directly to the website on their TV through Amazon smart speakers. And this works really well. Guess what? On the touchscreen versions, the little that. guys that, you know, are, That's awesome. that Amazon is really pushing for. And, and now we've literally opened up what is it, half a billion de devices to everyone's, uh, you know, uh, ev you know, small businesses uh, capability that's available now. That's, you know, you're capable as a small business to be able to broadcast. And obviously social audio is on the rise. Smart speakers are on the rise. But why are there only 400 apps in the business category on Amazon? Because right. it's very complicated. So we, we want to yeah. help that. That's good. That helps you uh, weed through it. I mean, a lot of folks, um, you know, if you think back in the day, even if we jump outside of like the the, the coffee shop owner or or having that uh, a specific journalist trying to reach out to you, think about like even, you know, I had the, the great opportunity to work in the, in the music industry. And one of the things that always happens is that you meet all these amazing artists with these amazing voices, amaz amazing talent, but then you don't hear them. You don't yep. hear them on the radio or anything like that. And it's not to any fault of their own. It's just that, you know, um, um, not only is the competition um, strong, but the the larger companies have their push behind something else. And it puts them in a position where while they may have all the talent in the world, they can't get their content to you. And that's what it's about. It's about raising awareness about that content and mm. having a tool like this um, where, where, where if I'm a musician, if I, you know, if I'm a, 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 a filmmaker or if I'm a yep. journalist or if I, you know, I'm someone like even a, a real estate agent, you know, we're in this market right now where it's a, it's a seller's market. So, you know, you're <laughs> going up, you're going up against a, a billion other real estate agents. Oh, yeah. How do I make sure I can reach you, um, um, in the best way? And Hello Wolfie, it seems like it's, 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 it's not only helping you use the tools um, that you know a lot of the other content creator things have, and that yep. and one thing I, I I like that you said earlier is that it's really clunky. But one thing I noticed with some of the other content creators, and it makes me hesitant to look at them or even use them, is that they are just focused on functionality, not necessarily success. They'll you know they'll have it there. It's like hey, you can use this, and it got to your your audience. But then you're pointing out main things like like you just said only 1% of the audience is seeing it while I'm pushing it out over my social media channels. I'm not able to hit all of the areas the big businesses can hit, yep. but you, this tool, Hello Wolfie, it's giving me the opportunity, not only to hit those areas, but to hit it with some of the, uh, with some of the, uh, um, the uh, tools and configurations that you've put in place to help really connect with the audience. I didn't even, and that's the thing, I didn't even know that about emojis. I didn't even know that about some of the content. One of the things I loved is like, if I put in, you know, a website on your, on the Hello Wolfie, it helps me to find content even from that website that I can use in a post. Yeah, and 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 that's the, that's the thing that come at the end of the day, people don't know these things because they don't have a degree. They were never told to have a degree in entrepreneurship or building a business, right? They have to right. learn from the get go. And, and so, you know, you mentioned real estate, everyone sees what Ryan Serhant is building, right? He right. was at a traditional brokerage. He left, he started his own. And that was because of TV, the ability to be seen very widely the ability to have a solid social media following have the video assets have the audio assets and the graphical assets right he has obviously a team behind him but with this capability yemi the real real estate agent you could totally have two minute briefings scheduled every single day about the house that's on sale and and you're the listing agent right and then that's you nice. could be like hey if you want to learn more come on over to the open house this sunday at 11 a.m or hit right. me up and click on the link to the left or hold up your phone because we actually have prototypes now where you can scan the screen on your tv or the smart speaker and just right. dials for you you don't have to dial the phone number it'll do the, it'll enter the 10 digit number and you just dial it um that's awesome 
and and give you a call to to learn more about the listing. So there's little things like that that I mean we I like to say this is actually our investor deck. So you're seeing a couple of things from there, but this is the old school coming to new school and it's for right. everyone. It's for every single underdog. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you know, um, um, show us more about how the you can use the website for quotes and then um, like trending news topics so that, you know, if I'm if I'm creating a post, it's not like it doesn't seem like a dated post or maybe I'm thinking about something that I saw last week, but everyone's moved on to something new. One yeah. thing that we've noticed over the past couple of years is that whatever was happening last week felt like a year ago. Oh, yeah. Something, whatever's going on this week, it's what's happening now. So do you have that um, that part that portion where you can write in and um, put in the uh, website and it gives you the quote? Yeah. So let's take a look at um, let's just take a simple example of this one here. Uh, let's do the article about smart speakers and we'll throw it into here and enter the next space here. Okay. So obviously it's gonna it's gonna start reading the article right here. It's gonna give you a couple of quote recommendations. So for example, nice. that might be a quote that you might have used. Now again, I recommend you read the article. Obviously you know what you want to know what you're sharing and 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 whatnot. But if you need a quick, you know, a quick uh quote that you want to throw in with this article, that's a really good way to do it instead of having to go through every single line and be like okay this is cool that's cool what do i say <laughs> yeah. oh my god and and having said that there's the other thing that we also built and we just shipped this out last week is you just paste in your our article link and it'll actually read the entire article for you and give you um a synopsis a summary of what the article is about um and so what that means is here we go emojis have a, come a long way let's just throw that in here and voila so you have a quote up there you have a synopsis you know, you could say summary right here. So, you know, save some time for, for people who are looking to to read it. And then you could be like, okay, so add some emojis in here. Um, there we go. Whoops. There we go. And then maybe have some emojis up here too. Because again, emojis drive a lot of engagement, right? So now right. we want to make sure that people are understanding which ones to use the, based on the data, hundreds of millions right. of conversations. These are the emojis being recommended. And there we go. Voila. You're good to go. Nice. Nice. And so it's not it's not just random emojis up there. No. And then no. and then just also this process, which would normally take me, you know, an hour or so, just took me, you know, about a couple of minutes, which is yep. amazing, which saves yep. me a lot of time and I can focus on other content. And I voila. Love this. And voila, you're good to go. Oh, here are a couple of hashtags also from the uh, from the oh, article, yeah. article so and you're done. <laughs> and, and and like you were saying, even at the bottom there, you can it gives even suggested um, graphics sometimes that you can yeah. use, and it and it isn't graphics you have to worry about, um, um, you know, copyright issues with. You guys are using the tools to help you yeah. uh, use graphics that you are approved. Yeah. Now, what plat what platforms does Hello Wolfie deliver to? It's a great question. I mean, we have probably the most robust roadmap, and we're very transparent about it. So if you take a look at our uh, account here. And you go into the uh, into the settings, you'll actually see our entire roadmap and integrations nice. that are coming soon. And many of these things aren't even considered to be on the roadmap for our competitors. Right. A lot of them will just do the basics, which is Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and that's it. We went beyond to TikTok. We went beyond yeah. to Google My Business, Pinterest. We just got approval to integrate with uh, literally that's two, awesome. three days ago. Uh, so that's coming out very soon. We have Snapchat coming out in the next uh, week or so, and Web Stories. This is going to be very, very important. Let's just say that for journalists, for right. entrepreneurs, for underdogs, um, because anytime Google some comes up with something, it means that you have search engine authority um, in that's Google, right. obviously. So that's something that's coming up very soon as well. Um, in fact, in the spirit of this, one of the things that we we love sharing with our, with our customers is that, and you're a part of this, obviously, is the Facebook group. We want to make sure that customers understand that they have direct access to um, what we're building. So for example, let me go ahead and share this screen here. Uh, window, here we go. So obviously, we, we're now taking a look at the Facebook group. In the Facebook right. group called Content Masters, every single day, obviously people are asking us, you know, how is this going? What, you know, I'd love for this feature to be added. You know, this is not working. 
Um, you right. know, it, Cabrina was having some issues with IG Autopost, and we fixed it. You know, she's able to do that now. Um, you know, Paul was, you know, we, he was on our call just last Friday, right, or this few days ago. Right. Thanks for the call. They are now in my calendar. He loved, you know, being able to come in and talk to us. And guess what? When people have issues or they have something to to say, I actually respond in video format and say, "Thank you so much, Yemi, for that." Or "I'm so sorry that happened to you. We'll get on this and fix it immediately." Um, and so that, that responsive that responsiveness matters. It yeah. matters so much because I mean, you know, with a lot of the the larger companies, if I if I'm trying to reach Google or if I'm trying to reach uh, uh, any of these larger companies for support, like I end up having to go to you know, while I appreciate having a community, sometimes the answer isn't always in the community. I need somebody from Google to respond to me right away, yeah. and you're right there. You're giving an answer. It's right there in video. It makes it feel real. Makes it feel genuine. Yeah. That's awesome. Yep, and that's that's what uh, that's the and then obviously we like our dogs, so people are of sharing, course sharing about their dogs all the time and how you know there are sidekicks, there are you know coworkers, um, so it's it's always important to uh, to 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 have that empathy. You know, this is obviously yeah. Snoopy being a, a brat <laughs> in the living room. Um, <laughs> Dude, we love it. We love it. They deserve to be spoiled. And yeah. even for for our cat lovers out there and those who even have you know I've met a few folks that like having ferrets. Um, yeah. which which is interesting as well. But yeah, to all of our pet lovers out there, <laughs> and um, I've got my Ziggy Stardust upstairs roaming around, probably either guarding the house or barking at anyone who walks by the window. So I, I totally get it. That's I totally hilarious. get it. But yeah, but I mean, yeah. that's, that's, that's uh, those are the integrations we have. Um, and, uh, you know, we have a lot of new things coming soon as well that are just going to blow customers away um, and give them the authority and the ability to compete. Um, you know, very, very, in a, in a very powerful way against their biggest competitors. Nice. I so I have a, a, a question that came in. Mm -hmm. um, so it says, it says, can you use the schedule posts in advance? If so, how many posts can you have in a queue? Yeah. How far into the future can you can you stack social media posts? It's yeah, a good question. Uh, it's a great question. So you can do you can schedule posts in our platform up to six months out. Um, and you can do as many as you need, uh, depending on the plans you have. You can take a look at how many posts you're allowed to post a day, a year, um, and uh, and what that just totally depends on your business itself. But um, the the thing that we the reason why we built this in the first place is because we wanted to make sure that you weren't spending every Sunday evening away from your family freaking out about what has not gone out the door and what right. has not been seen by your customers who you know would not know what you're working on what you're about to sell what you're about to promote and so i always recommend use the library function something very unique to our platform where just throw in all your evergreen content um keep it you know keep it uh, fresh you know keep it scheduling over and over again um and and then when you have something unique do it as a single post and then so that that. you so that I'm, I'm glad he asked that question and I'm glad you brought up that, that function. A lot of things folks don't think about is like if you're scheduling out posts, some um, some social media tools don't like for you to repeat uh, uh, posts or similar posts. And one thing I noticed about your library tool and your scheduling tool is that it will help you keep track of posts. They're very similar to a post that you put yeah. out before. Yep. Um, now, 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 how does this help the content creator? So one of the things that people don't realize is that Twitter has a very strict terms and conditions. They basically have said you cannot post the exact same thing again and again and again uh, because it's just considered spam, according to uh, according to Jack Dorsey. So you want to make sure that you're not in that position where you're getting in trouble. Um, and so one of the things that we've done, if you w wouldn't mind sharing your screen again, is letting you know, based on the last 30 to 60 days, how similar is that piece of content and uh, and then taking you know obviously the right action to to mitigate that so for example i posted this just a, this three days ago and this what this said 100 percent similar because obviously it went out uh, three days ago and right. then all i had to do is go in and double click on you know business something i said underdog here so i switched to the businesses i um i said uh insert something like quick i said there was something else here so my point is if you double click the word it'll give you a drop down of suggestions that you can switch it out with um and and obviously after i was done switching two words out it went from 100 percent to 91 percent 
So yes. our threshold is 95. If it's over 95, you cannot post it to Twitter to protect your account. And nice. if it's under 95, you're good to go. Post it again. And I can literally and, schedule this right now. And and before, and see, that's another thing that, um, you know, you, you don't realize you have to know before coming in. One thing I, I've, I've learned through this experience and is, is that, you know, if you find, if you start posting things that are like that uh, very often, they start ranking you lower. They don't look at you as an authority. So it, when folks are searching for your stuff, you may not show up at the top because a lot of your stuff comes off as spam. And whenever they determine or search engines determine that you are spam, they start ranking you lower. So that's great that this tool helps us avoid some of those things. And yeah. then I know we're getting uh, clipped to the close here, I want to say, what advice would you give a novice content creator if they would like to try out Hello Wolf? Um, email me and, and tell me about your small business and how we can help you. Seriously, to go join our Facebook group, tell me exactly what you need, what you need. If you have direct access to the founder and a tech company to build out the things that you need help with, right? And that's why we do those networking calls every Friday is because we want to listen to our customers. So that's first thing. Second thing is once you do get into the, the account, just pack every single one of these categories. These are obviously my yeah. categories, but you'll have your own categories of content. Pack it. Spend one evening. Pack it with you know content that you can use over and over again. Like for example, in our Content Masters Facebook group, we have evergreen content in here that we share over and over again. This is a quick tip I just came up with on how to make Facebook ads for basically zero dollars. It's quick selfie videos we talked about on the networking call last Friday. You know right. other evergreen pieces of content. I can have someone. I can schedule this today. I can schedule this tomorrow. I can schedule this next week. It is still the same thing. Our offer is the same. If you write a review for us and tell us how awesome or how not awesome, please be honest, we'll give you five bucks so long as you send me a screenshot. And it, this is something I can share over and over again. So there's little nice. things like that will just alleviate the the stress, the the pain that goes into having to create right. content from scratch. Um, and then once you start using it, you know, start scheduling it out one at a time and, and, and give us feedback. We want to know what feedback it is. And the last thing I'll tell you beyond that, I, know I keep saying last thing, but invest in our company for as low as $100 because we raised nice. about $730,000 with this, obviously $750,000. And we did it from people like you, the viewers, right. people like Yemi. Yemi just invested as well. And if anyone can invest as low as $100, obviously buy the software for as low as $49 or you know, going up to eleven ninety eight nine, depending right. on what you end up grabbing. But the important part is then you can become an affiliate and potentially make all of it back or a good portion right. of it. And so now you have the upside to the company. You have shares in the company. You have, are, are these a promise to shares in the company. Um, and you can really be a part of a company that wants to be the biggest, helping the smallest. Right. Especially during a time like now, you need a tool like this. And I really yeah. want to thank you. Um, and before we close out, one thing that we're going to do with each of our guests, and I'm happy that and I'm pretty proud that you're you're our first here is um, we like to <laughs> find <hugs>. out. <laughs> yeah, virtual hugs. Um, um, we like to find out what what um, so what we do is along with um, the making the music with uh, Yimmy Grio is uh, we like to put together a song that 50% of the proceeds from that song and the plays that it receives goes to the guest, um, 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 so, um, the charity organization that they like to support. Mm -hmm. And if you, the audience, are interested in raising awareness about a charity that's out there, please go to yummyconnected.com. There's a place in there where you can enter all that information. We'll look up the, the charity, make sure it's a verified charity, and we can uh, interview that charity and talk about them and also do the same for them. But Arjun, thanks for joining us. Now, what's the charity you. that you want to make sure um, um, folks know about and that you'd like to uh, support? And then we'll, we'll donate um, um, as well to that charity. No, I, I appreciate you, you talking about that. And I, I just pulled up their website as well. It's one charity that uh, a friend of mine wor works at and, you know, I've kind of learned about over the years, but it's just called Muddy Paws. Um, I, I, you know, obviously we love dogs. We love supporting dogs and underdog small business owners. And it's just a great, great, you know, startup like, uh, ch uh, uh, you know, nonprofit that is uh, is doing some really good work. Very nice. And that's mud muddypaws.org. MuddyPawsRescue.org. MuddyPawsRescue.org. Thank you so much, Arjun, for joining us today. We appreciate it so much, and I look forward to to to, to working with you more and and learning um, new ways 
uh, that we can share content with your tool. The wonderful thing about your tool is that it continues to grow, it yep. continues to connect. I don't know if you guys noticed earlier when he was showing the other platforms that will you'll be able to to share on. Um, it's really helpful, and especially like if you have Hootsuite or any of those other things, it also connects with that as well. Arjun, you've been amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> virtual Thank hugs. You. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And everyone out there, make sure you go to gimmeconnected.com, subscribe and follow to stay in tune to what's coming up next or even to uh, look at content you may have missed. Thank you all for joining us. We look forward to sharing more content with you later. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.